right, this is my yard. 60 by 180. This is my mower. The steel RMA 510. I just bought this mower. I had an Aaron's self-propelled mower that was powered by a Kohler Courage XT7 engine, uh, self-propelled, and um, I was tired of it. I had an, uh, a battery-powered electric mower a few years ago, and uh, when uh, it started to break and I couldn't find parts for it, it hit the curb, and I thought to myself, well, you know what, I'm going to go back to gas. What a mistake. This is my battery-powered steel. I love it. I'm going to show you a couple things about it. First things first, the bagger, nice big bag, big opening, very easy to dump. Just toss it up to your yard, uh, your, your bag, your yard waste bag, or to your composter, dumps really nice. Big plus for it. This mower has an option to hold two batteries. I only have one. I've done my front yard and part of my backyard. I got three out of four battery uh, life left. I'm on eco mode. The other reviews haven't talked about eco mode. There's a switch here, eco mode on and off. If you turn eco mode on, then the mower will slow down the RPMs when it's going over light grass and it'll speed, pick up the RPMs when it's going over deep grass. I'll show you that in a moment. Adjustments are very easy. I've got on the lowest adjustment right now. I want to get a nice close trim on my grass for the next couple of days. It's been growing pretty fast. So I've got it turned all the way down this time, uh, but I won't be doing that in the future. Storage. These handles come off. Now steel's done a nice thing here. When they're loose, there's a second set of threads. So you don't have to take them right out. What you do is you uh, undo these and then the handle collapses onto itself. And right here, these are foot pads and the mower actually stands up and the bag sits on top to take very little space for storage. Wonderful design, it doesn't take up a lot of space at all. The mower is light. It's built with a steel deck, but it's light, which means it's easy to push. The wheels are well designed. It looks like, um, I haven't taken it apart, but it looks like there's steel bushings in there, not plastic bushings. The wheels, uh, they, it, it's just an effortless push. I contacted my steel dealer and I contacted a Husqvarna dealer because it came down to those two brands for me. And I asked them, can I use this mower with a power rake blade? To me, that was the key thing because my last battery powered one, if I put a power rake on there, it just couldn't push it. The, the motor wasn't strong enough. I wanted to know, Husqvarna and steel, can you use a power rake blade with it? Both dealers told me they had to contact the manufacturer, they needed to contact their technicians, and I heard back from both of them. Husqvarna said to me, don't do it, you'll burn out the motor, and you'll shear off the flywheel key. What did Steel say? Sure, not a problem. Go ahead and do it. Just understand, you're going to get real bad life out of your battery. You're going to need to charge often, which is totally understandable. The mower's got to work hard. But that tells me that the mower, the motor is built much better on this mower than on the Husqvarna. And that for me sealed the deal. Now I'm going to go mow a little bit and I'll show you guys how the eco mode changes the RPMs. Here you can see that gaping hole of a bagger. It's uh, really huge, it's awesome. So eco mode is on, now you'll see. Pushed on the button, hand right the handle. Now you, I don't know if you heard that, but the mower just slowed down, it starts fast and slows down. As you mow, just listen as I get into the deeper, or the deeper, the, the thicker grass right here. Right here, you'll hear it. See that, it senses right away, it needs more power. And it picks up the RPM. There you go. Now 
now it'll slow down again. There you go. It's really a great mower. I'm so happy with it. It's pleasurable to mow my lawn again. Like I said, I'm doing it really short today. And then I'm going to water it. I'm going to do a little bit of overseeding. As you probably saw, there are a lot of burnt spots from my dog. So, um, yeah, wonderful mower. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.